I've poured a glass of this into Josh's glass and my glass. He's gonna come in here, taste it blind, and I'm gonna ask him some questions about the pour. We'll see if he gets them right. Welcome to Stefan Whiskey. I'm Aaron. I'm Josh. And it's time for Guess That Glass. All right, let's get into this. Okay. Uh, this is a new, potentially recurring video series on the channel. If you like it, let us know in the comments below. But yeah. we're gonna have a little uh, stump the whiskey nerd. I was the the title that we're using is Guess That Glass, but what came to mind was Stump the Chump. <laughs> Doesn't. Yeah, it's not, that's not very nice. <laughs> yeah. But me being the whiskey nerd, Aaron being more of the social sipper, this is gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna keep score. If I get it correct, I get a point. If I don't get it correct, she gets a point. a point. And we're gonna keep track of this over time. We'll do these periodically. So again, let us know if you like it. But for now, First, let's get into this. Let's drink. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. That smells super sugary, fruity sweet. It also smells like wood chips. Like my parents put wood chips down on yeah. like their little playground in their backyard. Yeah. That's what it smells like. By the way, I'm guessing what type of spirit it is, proof, age, is it finished or not? And then if I have a distillery and a bottle guess, I'll throw those out as well. But right off the nose to me, this is smelling like bourbon. It's smelling like Brown Foreman products mm -hmm. or maybe Bart in 1792. And I'm saying that because I'm kind of getting this banana, cherry, sugary thing going on in there, which is what I tend to get with those types mm. of products. Let's taste it. Cheers. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's got like a, it's got more heft on the palate than I expected based on the nose because the nose was yeah. pretty bright. The nose was bright. I just got like wood and I'm getting, I'm still tasting wood, but there's like a, a deepness under the wood. I don't think I'm getting sweetness, but it's not all bitter. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. No, Maybe it's, it's like a dark brown sugar. Yes. That's glazed the wood. That's a good, good call. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. I will say I agree with all that. I get the banana cherry thing going on yeah. in here. And I like this. To me, this seems like really good bourbon kind of very classic in my opinion. Um, okay, so do you have, a, is your type of whiskey guess bourbon? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sipping it now on the palate. It's hard for me to not start thinking of bottles that it reminds me of because the proof point to me is coming in kind of around 100, maybe a little less than. Okay. You know, like in that range. Okay. So that's, that was the next question I was going to ask was the proof. Yeah. I, I mean, I would say, I don't know what the proof is. I didn't look, so I have no idea if you're right. Yeah. We have to get the bottle out to see. Yeah. I mean, I want to say that this is, and I've got a, a five point five proof point margin of error here, okay. plus or minus, but man, I want to say that I'm going to be a little strategic here okay. and I'm going to say 95 proof. That way I cover my, actually, hmm, let me say 90. Eight proof. That okay. way, or ninety nine proof. Ninety nine. That way, I cover one dollar, Bob. One dollar. Oh, I'm trying to think of a couple bottles. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll go. Don't. Me, okay, on. okay. Hold on. Let go. Me, let me write go this down. with what the proof you think it tastes like, not what bottle you think it is. Hey, mom. Guess what the proof is, se separate and apart from what bottle you might be thinking it is. All Just right. guess the proof. What it tastes like when you're drinking it. All right. I'm gonna jump ahead and say this is not finished. No, stop. Don't. Okay. We need All to right. do an order so that okay. way we can put the correct graphics. Okay. <laughs> On the screen. Producer Aaron's coming out to okay. play now. What's the proof? What's your proof guess? Based on, it's got a lot of saturation of flavor on the palate for what I think is a lower proof point. And I know I've got that five proof point plus or minus margin. So I'm going to say 95 proof because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that covers me if it's 100 proof, but it also covers me if it's a little less than that. Okay. So. I'm gonna go 95 proof. I feel pretty good about that. Okay. Uh, how old do you think this is? Man, I'm getting a fair bit of oak on it, but mm -hmm. I'm also not getting a super long finish, okay. like a, a long, long finish. Yeah. But I mean, I can still kind of taste it. So, man, this is tough. Um, I could say, I think I'll say, and I've got a, what's my range here? To have plus or minus plus or a minus couple years. Five years, I think. No, two no, years. Two, two years. years. Five years would be way too much. Two years. Um, I'll say that this is 
I'll go eight years. That way it covers me from six to 10 years. Okay. Because I think it could be in that range. Okay. Um, now you can say, do you think this is finished or not? I don't think this is finished. No, okay. it seems pretty standard home plate. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have a distillery guess? I will in a second. Man, I really want to say like Old Forester or Jack Daniels. Okay. Man, that's tough. I'm going to say my differentiating factor there with Jack Daniels, I get more banana and brown sugar. Old Forester, I get more slight banana and like a darker brown sugar. Okay. And then Barton 1792, I get more of a banana, light brown sugar, and cherry okay. addition. But I'm getting a little bit of like cocktail cherry in here as well. So I'm kind of down between Barton 1792 and Old Forester. But I'm going to I'm going to guess Old Forester. Okay. Do you have a bottle guess at, by chance? Oh man, I'm gonna guess oh I'm gonna guess Old Forester nineteen twenty four. Okay. That's gonna be my guess. And I'm saying that for some specific reasons because Old Forester nineteen twenty four is a bottle I like. Do you know, do I wanna pay 115 bucks for it? Not really. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I could see this being like a Calumet 16. I could see this being a really good Jack Daniels single barrel select pick. I could see this being, I could see this being a lot of different things in that wheelhouse okay. from like the lower end of the range to the higher end of the range. So, all right, my guesses are in. You guys are seeing it on the screen. Do you want to find out what we're drinking? Let's find out what we're drinking. Get it out the bag. Dun, dun, dun. What? Knob Creek nine year. What? And it is a hundred proof. All right. Um, I didn't look at that beforehand. Okay, so hang on. It's bourbon, check. Knob Creek, nine year. Yeah, so you did get that right. Uh, you got the proof within five within points. Five. So it's 100 proof. Got the age. Age, it is nine years. You guessed eight, so you got that. Got finished. It's not finished, but you are not. Is Wait, let me guess. This is from Heaven Hill, right? No, no it's from Jim Beam. Oh, Jim Beam. Oh, dang it. I'm not good at this game. This is why I don't play it. Um, wow. James B. Beam makes this, in case you didn't know. I didn't know, but now I do. Why is it so fruity like that? And so you didn't get... So, wow. You got three points, though. Four points? Three points. Four points? One, two, three. Oh, four points. <laughs> and I got one point. Yeah. So I win this week. First weekend, I win. Aww. I should not get used to it. I got very lucky this time around. <laughs> These questions are easy, though, as far as, like, uh, no. finished... No, it's they're not. Actually, I'm quite surprised you did well on proof because for me, this drank a little bit higher proof than 100. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. All right. Good so job. overall, nicely done. Congrats. Overall, you know, all those points don't really matter. It's like it's, that, it's, that I, game show, Whose Line Is it Anyway, yes. where it's like everything's made up and the points don't matter. I get a W this week. Erin takes an L. She did not stump the chump. But I still got one point. You did. On the leaderboard. <laughs> You did. Well, I'm, I'm not going to keep track of the accrued points over time. It's a week by week score. Oh. So I have one point. You have zero points. Do you want me to keep track of the points overall? No, it's okay. I figured we would just play it week by week. That's like fine. you win the game or you lose the game. That's fine. And then your record for that game. That's fine. And this game, I won this game today. You did. But Congrats. I'm probably going to lose more of these and I'm going to win. And there, we could even make some fun things like some punishments in here. Uh, I think the whiskey tube universe as a whole has been feel, feeling the um, the lack of uh, the, the hole that's been left by the bourbon junkies not doing poor guesses anymore. So we're borrowing some inspiration from them. Mm. So shout out to Dan and Sean. Um, but we're doing it a little bit differently where Aaron is trying to stump me with some of the 350 to 400 well, plus bottles we have. What's also funny about me trying to stump him is that I don't know anything about most of the whiskey we have in this house. Yeah. I just picked the bottle because it was in the far back corner of one of the shelves. There you go. And you figured we haven't visited it in a while. Yeah. And you thought that might get me. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, I, that's yeah. why you pick the bottles you pick is yeah. a good thing for them to hear as well. So, so that's why I picked it. It was in the far back corner of one of our shelves. I figured he hadn't had it in a hot minute. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel in a hot minute, then you need to do that. You should. Or you should like this video if you haven't liked any of our videos in yeah. a hot minute. Let us know in the comments below if you like this idea for a series. We'll keep it going. Yeah. Uh, also, check out our Patreon community if you're new here because it's the best dang whiskey community on planet Earth. You can get into our Discord through that. People are sharing samples and helping people find things all the time. That's also where we release our barrel picks. So you can get in on that over there. 
And I would be remiss not to talk to you real quickly about our charity fundraiser coming mm. up in October. We're going to actually launch it at the end of September and we need bottle donations. So if you're a regular viewer of the channel or you're new here and you want to donate a bottle of whiskey to a good cause, you don't have to send it to us. Just hang on to it, but email us at stuffandwhiskey at gmail.com. We support a organization called To Write Love on Her Arms that they provide direct help and hope to people in need who are struggling with mental health. And that affects all of us from yep. our young to our old, our military servicemen and women. It affects everybody in some form or fashion. Even if you yourself aren't dealing with it, you probably have a loved one that has dealt with it. Or, you know, a lot of us have even been impacted by in families and things like that. So please, please, please help us raise some money. If you have a bottle sitting around that you can donate to the cause, email us at stuffandwhiskey at gmail.com. We would love to have you on board. So far in the last three years of this channel, drinking whiskey on the internet, we've raised over $45,000 to help people. And it makes a huge difference. So email us if you're interested in being a part. I think that's it for today. Be good and do good. And until next time, cheers. Cheers. I was like, he probably hasn't seen this in a while. I know where it's at. That's good, man. For 30 bucks. That's a great value. Yeah, that was actually quite impressive. Like, I literally picked it, and I, I knew it was nine years. But 35 I, bucks. I didn't even look at the proof. I didn't even think about looking at the proof. I was just like, oh, I know how old this is. It's nine years. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm surprised and impressed by that bottle because when it was first opened, didn't like it at all. As yeah. it's gotten air to it, it's really opened up and gotten yeah. a lot better. How long have we had this? A while. Yeah. Three, six months, maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah.